Welcome to my channel. This is the Daily News Clips. But before we get to those, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for interacting with me in the comments. I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. This is a letter from Jim Jordan. I'm going to get to that in a minute, but first I've got some other items. I've got a busy news day today. The first item is an article titled, What Too Many Republicans Get Wrong About the Constitution. And of course, with all of these articles, I put the links in the description so that you can read them yourself. <clears throat> it's a discussion about how Americans are living under the mistaken belief that the uh, Supreme Court has the final word on everything when it comes to the Constitution. The reality is it's we the people that have the final word. And it is nothing wrong with a state telling the federal government we will not enact or enforce this law that you pass because it's not constitutional. We need to get back to that point so that we're back to the point where we were when the country was first founded. Second news item. West Point has deleted duty, honor, country from its mission statement. Let me read that again. West Point has deleted duty, honor, country from its mission statement. So what is their mission now? <laughs> not the country, not honor, not duty? I tell you, the changes that are going on in our military are frightening to me because I'm telling you, the next conflict that we get into, we're going to lose a lot of men. A lot of men and women will die because the leadership is horrible. And they're not being trained to fight. They're being trained to do other things. They're being trained to be politically correct. They're tr being trained to be woke. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, this is not what the purpose of a military is. Another article I have. Gun-toting citizens patrol cities' violent areas as part of self-defense brigade. But mayor reportedly doesn't like it. Well, what a surprise there. These are black people that are starting to defend their own neighborhoods by carrying legal firearms in the streets walking around on patrol because they know they can't count on the police because the police are so underfunded now they can't even show up. And as a side note, you might be interested in reading Justice Clarence Thomas's um, concurrence in the Heller versus DC case. In that case, just, just, uh, Justice Clarence Thomas went into great depth about how Gun control was used to disarm black people so that the Ku Klux Klan members could murder them. The purpose of gun control always is to disarm the public so that the government can control them. That's what it is. It's not gun control, it's people control. And when they take away your right to self-defense, you have no other option. You have to rely on the government. The next item on my agenda is a letter from Jim Jordan, and I'm going to show that to you now. Uh, you may be familiar with the case where uh, Steve Baker, a independent journalist, has been arrested by the FBI and charged with um, four misdemeanors for his quote quote participation in the January 6th quote quote insurrection. Well, um, Jim Jordan has written a letter to the DOJ and he says, on March 1st, 2024, the Department of Justice charged Blaze Media investigative journalist Stephen Baker with four misdemeanor counts, including trespassing and disorderly conduct in connection with his presence at the Capitol on January 6th, 2021. According to Mr. Baker's attorney, the department has been threatening to charge Mr. Baker, <clears throat> quote, for more than two and a half years. 
These are serious, there are serious concerns about selective prosecution in this case, as well as the department's commitment to the First Amendment rights of journalists. According to uh, information from Mr. Baker's attorney, other journalists were in the Capitol at the same time as Mr. Baker, who have, who have not been charged with crimes. For example, Mr. Baker's attorney noted that one journalist at the Capitol that, they pub that, that day published a lengthy story in The New Yorker only nine days after and was later pr uh, promoted for a Pulitzer Prize. The department has not charged this reporter. Conversely, the department decided to charge Mr. Baker, a journalist who has been critical of the department's handling of the January 6th uh, investigation and prosecutions. As Mr. Baker's attorney noted, the department is not allowed to decide what press coverage it likes and what press coverage offends it and take prosecutorial action based on those judgments. Next page. Beyond charging Mr. Baker, it appears that the department deviated from practice, excuse me, I can't see that, from practice and formally arrested Mr. Baker when he voluntarily surrendered with counsel for his initial appearance on the underlying misdemeanor charges. Although the department negotiated with Mr. Baker's counsel on a date and time for the journalist to appear in court and represented that he would not, they would not seek to detain him pre-trial. It subjected him to formal arrest. That is, the FBI fingerprinted, photographed, handcuffed, and placed Mr. Baker in the back of an FBI vehicle, transported him to the courthouse, and brought him before the magistrate judge in a belly chain box cuffs and leg shackles, and an orange uh, uniform. Mr. Baker's counsel, a former federal prosecutor, stated that in his long career with the department, he never once saw in an initial appearance on misdemeanor charges where the defendant was told to report first to the FBI to be fingerprinted and photographed before going to the courthouse. This conduct smacks of harassment and, and selective <clears throat> treatment for a disfavored criminal defendant. The letter goes on to demand that they provide documents and proof of what's going on. It's well known that the FBI has been mistreating uh, <clears throat> the uh, January 6th people who have been put in prison. Some of them have been held in prison for now over a year without a trial in complete violation of their rights. It's ridiculous. For, for misdemeanor offenses, I mean, it's, it's really, really out of hand, and it needs to stop, and maybe this letter will be uh, the impetus that gets that going. Next item on the agenda. Cong a congressman rescued Americans in Haiti after the Biden uh, administration abandoned them. The Biden administration basically said, you're on your own. The State Department will not provide you with transportation out of the country. And there is no transportation. The airport's been taken over by the gangs. So there's no way to get out. So this congressman reassumed a role he held prior to serving in Congress as a, a military contractor, put together a group, paid for a helicopter, went to Haiti and picked these people up and got them out of there. Uh, it's, uh, I just, you know, these stories just, cr they drive me crazy. It's like, what is wrong with the leaders of our country? What is wrong with them? Who cares? <laughs> if an American is in trouble somewhere in the world, it's the job of our nation. It's the job of our administration to get them out of there regardless of what it is. Next item, and of course, again, all these links will be in the description so that you can read them for yourself if you like. Members of the nation's oldest legal union are attacking 
the pro-Israel voices in their ranks. Now Congress is investigating. They've actually been calling Jews, Jewish lawyers, deranged. And it's to the point where the lawyers are trying to get out of the union. They're trying to find some other way to do their business. Next item. The end of the transgender craze is near. We can only hope and pray that it is, okay? Uh, it, it looks like the overreach that they've done with men and women's sports and with the uh, underage children being given puberty blockers and surgeries and just absolute craziness is starting to come to an end. In Britain, they have now banned puberty blockers. They will not no longer administer them at the natu National Health Service. And the last article is an article about whistleblowers. There were two whistleblowers from the IRS who went before Congress, and one of the questions that they were asked was, what would you say to someone who said that there's no proof that Biden worked with his son to make money? And the IRS agent said, I would say that's a, a lie. They were both kicked out of the service. And, of course, the news, you know, if you want to call it that, hasn't covered this story at all. They're still telling you there's no evidence that Biden collaborated with his son. And once again, I have to remind you, I have three free subscriptions to public at Substack. These are one-month subscriptions to anyone who emails me. And this time, I'm going to provide you my email address right in this description so that you can't possibly miss it. Because I seem to be not doing too good a job of telling you where it is. No one has emailed me, emailed me for these uh, prescriptions or subscriptions, excuse me. So that's the news for the day. As always, I pray for you that you will have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time and that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I also pray for the people that you love, that the same will, will be true for them. They'll have abundant lives, they'll have long health and long lives, and that God will keep them safe. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.